Welcome to the Bharat School Online Classes. In this section, we will discuss about digestive glands. First of all, we should discuss what are digestive glands. So those glands which help in digestion of food with their secretions are called digestive glands. Here are five major types of digestive glands. Slavery gland, gastric gland, intestinal gland, pancreas and liver. These are the glands which help in digestion of food with the help of their secretions. First of all, we will discuss in detail our first gland that is slavery gland. We know that slavery gland are present in pair that is three pairs are present in human beings. First parotid gland, second sublingual gland, third submaxillary gland. The parotid gland is the largest slavery gland in all among three glands. Sublingual gland present lingual word is represent the tongue. Here the sublingual gland is present below the tongue. Uh, third gland submaxillary submandibular gland. Uh, <coughs> when it is present near the mandible bone then it is called submandibular gland. When it is present near the maxilla bone then it is called submaxillary gland here if we can clearly see its location in this picture here uh, near the ear we can see that the parotid slavery gland and below the tongue we can see our sublingual slavery gland and below uh, near the mandible bone we can see our submandibular gland these are the three pairs of slavery gland which secrete saliva and help in digestion of food. The infection of parotid gland is called mumps and in this condition the swallowing occur in the neck region. You can clearly see the uh, this condition is called mumps. Next what is the function of the slavery gland? The main function of slavery gland is to secrete saliva. And what is the composition of saliva? Saliva basically contain 99.5% water and mucin and enzymes like slavery amylase which is also known as styline and lysozyme and some electrolytes are present such as sodium, potassium and chlorine etc. Slavery amylase enzyme help in digestion of carbohydrate and lysozyme kills the microbes present in the uh, food present in our buccal cavity or oral cavity. Second, we will discuss our next gland that is gastric gland. As the name indicates, it is present in the stomach. So here it is a tubular gland which is found near the found on the inner wall of the stomach. So जो gland stomach की inner wall के अंदर पाया जा रहा है वो कौन सा gland है हमारा gastric gland है. Gastric gland it is made up of three types of cells. First mucus secreting neck neck cells, chief cells, chief cells also called gymogen cells or peptic cells. While third one is our oxantic cells. Oxantic cells is also known as our parietal cells. Here we can see that our <coughs> stomach and the inner layer of stomach that is mucosa layer have some uh, roughly uh, finger like projections that is called rug. In this uh, the inner lining of the stomach uh, contain our gland that is called our intestinal gland here we can see that is the gastric pit in this pit the secretions of these three cells has been poured first our chief cells that secrete the enzyme pepsinogen and second our parietal cell which secrete the HCL and intrinsic factor that is Kessel intrinsic factor and third one is our mucus neck cell their main function is secrete the mucus. 
दीज आर द सर्फेस एपिथीलियल सेल्स विच इज ऑल्सो सीक्रेटिंग द म्यूकस तो हेयर वी कैन सी इट द येलो कलर सर्फेस एपिथीलियम सेल्स विच सीक्रेट द म्यूकस हे आर द ग्रीन कलर सेल्स म्यूकस नेक सेल्स विच सीक्रेट द म्यूकस एंड हेयर इट इज प्रजेंट बिटवीन दीज चीफ सेल्स हेयर आर द प्राइटल सेल्स विच सीक्रेट द एस सेल एंड इंटेंजिक फैक्टर एंड द चीप सेल्स सीक्रेट्स द पैप्सिनोजन the <coughs> sorry mucus neck cells secrete the mucus mucus and bicarbonates protect the stomach wall and from the hcl and prevents an autogyge we know that the oxyantic cells their main function is to secrete the hcl the hcl secrete by these cells can also harm the inner lining of the stomach and it should be prevented with the mucus that is secreted by mucus neck cells and it is mucus the secreted by mucus neck cells also prevents the inner lining of stomach from auto digestion we know that the protein digestive enzymes that uh, uh, help in digestion of proteins the inner lining cell membrane has also made up of proteins so their auto digestion has been prevented next the gymogen sign and peptic cells these are the cells which secretes the enzymes like pepsinogen pronanin and lipase these are the enzymes which help in digestion of proteins and lipase which is uh, very less active and uh, little bit contribute in the digestion of fats here we can see the uh, nature of gastric gland secret acidic nature uh, gastric gland secret acidic juice that is ph about 1.8 to 2 and its composition is 99.5% water and 0.5% are the residual substances our third gland is liver it is the largest gland in the human body its weight about 1.5 kg it is reddish brown in color it is bilobed and its right lobe is larger than the left lobe each lobe is divided into numerous hepatic lobules which are functional unit of liver in this section we can see that here it is our liver the largest gland of the our body and it is bilobed and here we can see it it uh, left lobe which is smaller as compared to its right lobe here we can see liver is a lobulated gland it means it has many lobules we can see it clearly the lobules are formed of hepatic cells and, and the hepatic cells uh, surrounds the central vein in a radial fashion and forms the lobule in this picture we can also see that the uh, here it is our liver and this is the structure of single lobule in lobule we can see that the these are the cells which are called hepatocyte cells these are arranged radial fashions and in the center our central vein in present in around this central vein the hepatocyte cells arrange themselves in a radial fashion and <clears throat> in the between these hepatocyte cells the space is present which is called liver sinusoid endothelial cells space yeah this space is also called sinusoidal space and this space contain the cufer cells these cufer cells help in uh, play the role of macrophages 
तो हेयर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लीवर तो वी नो दैट द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ लीवर इज लोब्यूल्स एंड ए लोब्यूल इज फॉर्म ऑफ मैनी हिपैटिक सेल्स दैट अरेंज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेडिएटिंग प्लेट्स अराउंड ए सेंट्रल वेन बिटवीन दीज प्लेट्स एंड द हिपैटिक्स आर फिल्ड विथ ब्लड फील्ड हिपैटिक साइनोसोइड्स हेयर इज हम साइनोसोइड्स विच आर फील्ड विथ ब्लड द क्यूपर सेल्स प्रजेंट इन दीज स्पेसिस इन गल्फ द माइक्रो बैक्टीरियाज एंड माइक्रोब्स एंड डैमेज सेल्स फ्रॉम द ब्लड लीवर लोब्यूल इज कवर्ड बाय ग्लीशंस कैप्सूल तो ईच लोब्यूल ऑफ लीवर इज कवर्ड बाय ग्लीशंस कैप्सूल इट इज द मेन करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ द ह्यूमन बींग्स लीवर मेमेलियन लीवर नेक्स्ट वट इज द पैसेज ऑफ बाइल जूस विच इज सीक्रेटेड बाय द लीवर तो फर्स्ट ऑफ लाइ बाइल सीक्रेटेड बाय हिपैटोसाइट सेल्स विच इज कैरिड बाय द हिपैटिक डक्ट हिपैटिक डक्ट कैरीज दिस बाइल टू द गोल ब्लैडर गोल ब्लैडर लीड्स टू द सिस्टिक डक्ट सिस्टिक डक्ट लीड्स टू द बाइल डक्ट बाइल डक्ट Op, uh, leads to the common hepatopancreatic duct and through common hepatopancreatic duct bile juice has been poured into c shape tube that is called our duodenum the common hepatopancreatic duct is guarded by a sphincter that is called sphincter of odi hepatic cells secrete the bile juice uh, this bile juice is basically alkaline in nature and does not contain any enzymes but it can contain bile pigments such as blue rubin blue iodin and some bile salts cholesterols and phospholipids our next gland is pancreas it is the second largest gland which is present near the duodenum loop the c shaped group of the duodenum in this group it is present it is creamish color heterocline gland heterocline glands are those glands which function both exocrine as well as endocrine gland the exocrine part of this gland is pancreatic acini and the endocrine part of this gland is islet of langerhans here the exocrine part of pancreatic duct opens into the duodenum along with the bile duct through hepatopancreatic duct in this picture we can clearly see this uh, here it is our lobulated gland like liver our gland pancreas this is the second largest gland in the human body in ts we can clearly see that the two parts of it this is the islet of langerhans uh, it is the endocrine part of the liver sorry pancreas and it is made up of delta cells delta cells beta cells and alpha cells this part is called its pancreatic acini part and this forms its glands exocrine parts the pancreatic acini uh, secretes the pancreatic juice while the endocrine part exo uh, while the endocrine part islet of langerhans secretes the hormones like insulin glucagon etc next pancreas secrete the pancreatic juice which is alkaline in nature it contains the enzymes following enzymes uh, trypsinogen chymotrypsinogen pro carboxypeptidase these are the chief protein digesting enzymes amylase is for carbohydrate digestion lipase is for lipid digestion and nuclease is for nucleic acid digestion present in this juice our last gland we will discuss about in this section is intestinal gland intestinal gland basically of two types crypts of liber cunhan and duodenal gland as the name indicate crypts of liber cunhan this gland is crypts of liber cunhan gland is present in the crypts region 
Labor Kuhan is the scientist who discovered the it and this crypts of Labor Kuhan gland is basically mainly formed of two types of cells goblet cells that is mucus secreting cells and enzyme secreting cells that is called pineal cells while the Brunner's gland present in the submucosa layer of the duodenum and it is confined only to the duodenum part of the small intestine it secretes only the mucus it does not secrete any enzyme in this we can clearly see that the crypts part of the uh, this is it intestinal crypt in this part the our gland crypts of liber kuhan gland is present and in the submucosa layer here we can see submucosa layer in this submucosa layer in this submucosa layer our duodenal gland is present that is our brunner's gland is present Intestinal glands is also alkaline in nature which is also known as sucus entericus. Here the secretion of intestinal gland that is called intestinal juice and also known as sucus entericus. It contains mainly enzymes such as maltase, lactase, sucrase, dipeptidase, lipase, nucleotidase, nucleosidase. These enzymes help in digestion of food such as maltase, lactase, sucrase, these are help in digestion of carbohydrate, dipeptidase, help in protein digestion, lipase, lipids digestion, nucleotidase and nucleosidase, help in nucleic acids digestions. The carbonate and the mucus provide alkaline medium and protect the intestinal mucosa. The bicarbonates and the mucus secreted by these glands protect the inner lining of the intestine. Uh, till then bye bye for our next video in our next video we will discuss about the mechanism of digestion how digestion of carbohydrate proteins fats will be take place